Hi, good day. This is Miss LM and we're back again for another math video and today we're going to talk about undefined terms in geometry. So this is the second part of this video that talks about undefined terms. So again, what are the three undefined terms in geometry? So they are points, lines, and planes. Wala silang definition but we can describe them and also we can look at anything around us that can be a representation of these three undefined terms. Remember that points has no length, no width, no thickness, or no dimension at all. Lines have length but no width and no thickness, while the planes have length, width, but no thickness. Two-dimensional figure lang siya. Now, ano pa nga ba ang mga kailangan nating matutunan when it comes to undefined terms in geometry? So first, let us have this activity wherein we're going to identify whether the statement is true or false. Identify whether the statement is true or false. If false, change the underlined word to make it a true statement. Number one, a line can be extended in two directions endlessly. Is this true or false? So the answer is true. Okay, number two, a line has no width, no length, or thickness. A line has no width, length, or thickness. Line nga ba yung ating undefined term na walang width, walang length, at walang thickness? So, the correct answer here is false. Kaya, papalitan natin yung word na line na K point. Number three. A plane is a three-dimensional figure. The underlined word is three. A plane is a three-dimensional figure. Is this true or false? So, the answer is false. Kaya, papalitan natin yung word na 3 with 2. Okay. Two-dimensional figure lamang ang ating plane. Number 4. The intersection of walls of a room is a point. Again, the intersection of the walls of a room is a point. Ang underlined word natin ay point. So, tingnan nyo po yung paligid niyo, yung inyong mga pader. Ano nga ba ang intersection ng walls? Point lang ba sila? So, the correct answer is line. Number five, a plane contains a finite set of points. The underlined word is finite. Is this true or false? Nabibilang ba ang points sa isang plane? The answer is false. So, papalta natin yung word na finite with the word infinite. Okay? Number six, a line is an infinite set of points. Again, a line is an infinite set of points. The underlined word is line. Is this true or false? The answer is true. Number seven. A point is best illustrated by a dot. Again, a point is best illustrated by a dot. The underlined word is point. Is this true or false? So the answer is true. Number eight. There is only one line in a plane. Again, there is only one line in a plane. The underlined words here are, is only one line. So, meron nga lang bang nag-iisang linya sa isang plane? The answer is false. So, meaning to say, there is infinite number of line in a plane. Okay? Number nine. Any flat surface is a model of a plane. Any flat surface is a model of a plane. Is this true or false? Again, the underlined word is plain. The answer is true. The last item, space is the set of all points. Space is the set of all points. The underlined word is space. At sa space nga ba ay maraming points tayo makikita? The answer is true. Okay, so now we have additional information about undefined terms in geometry. Let's proceed to our second goal for this video. Determine the points, lines, and planes on the given figure. Okay, so let's analyze the given figure and let's answer the questions that follow. So we have here a box with distinct points and lines. So the first question is, how many known points are there on the figure? Ilan daw kaya ang kilala or may pangalan na points dito sa figure na ito? So, remember that points are represented by dot and named with capital letters. So, para malaman kung ilang points ang meron sa figure na to, hanapin natin kung ilan nga ba itong may capital letters na ito. So, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
So, since meron tayo ditong dot, pero wala naman siyang capital letter, so, hindi natin siya consider as point for this figure. So, ilan nga ulit ang nabilang natin na number of known points in this figure? The answer is 9. Okay, there are 9 known points in this figure. And what are those 9 points? So, point A, point B, point C, point D, point E, point F, point G, point H, and point I. So, you can name it systematically We're in nag-alphabetical order tayo or kung alin yung mga nakikita agad ng inyong paningin, yun yung inyong ilist down. Okay? So, again, ang tanong po dito ay distinct or known points. Kaya, lahat lamang ng point na may pangalan yung ating binilang. Okay? Next question. How many distinct lines are there on the figure? So, again, we are asking for the distinct lines. At paano nga ba natin pinapangalanan ng isang line? So, we need at least two points on the line to name the line na meron tayo. Ngayon, ilan nga ba ang line na kaya natin pangalanan on this figure? So, we have this first line. So, since meron tayong tatlong points dyan, eh, ang atin naman pong qualification to name a line is at least two points. So, meron na tayong makukuha ditong line. Another. So, dito po, itong point C, point D, point E, tatlong points po ulit sa isang line. So, that's the second line. Then, here, since ito pong point na to ay wala nga pong pangalan, hindi natin siya maisasama as distinct line. Also, itong line na to Kasi nga po, wala pong name itong point na to so, looking for the third line, so we have point C and point I, so that's the third line. And then we also have here EF, point E and point F, so fourth line po natin yan. Another is this one, so may point I tayo doon, may point F tayo dito, so that's the fifth line. Another is etong ating AH, point A and point H. So, makakapag-name tayo ng line. So, that's the sixth line. So, dito yung point G at saka ito, hindi po ulit natin mapapangalanan. Then, we have IH. Ayan, I and then H. So, seventh line yun. F and G, that's the eighth line. Then, the last line is itong point H at point G. Diyan natin makukuha yung ating ninth line. So, ilan lahat ang distinct lines sa figure? There are nine distinct lines in this figure. Again, to name a line, we have to have at least two distinct points on the line. Okay? So, again, what are those distinct lines? So, pangalala natin. So, dito po sa una, we have three points. Pwede pong kumuha lang tayo ng dalawang point dito to name this line. So, we have line AC or line CA. So, we can also use line AB or BA or BC or CB. Another is line CE. So, alin naman yung line CE? Ito naman po siya. So, we can also name it as line EC, line CD or DC, line DE or line ED. So, pwede po yan. Kasi nga po, meron tayong third point doon na pwede natin gaminin to name the line. So, another is line CI. So, ito naman siya. Or IC, pwede po yan. So, another is, ito naman pong line na to, line EF or FE. So, ito po, hindi nga po natin siya maisasama. So, ito naman, line AH or HA. Another, so we have line IF. So, ito po siya, or FI. Another is line HG. So, ito naman siya. Also, we can name it as line GH. Another is line HI or IH and also line FG or GF. Those are the distinct lines for this figure. So, malinaw na po ba kung paano natin papangalanan yung mga lines when it comes to a given figure? Now, let's proceed to the next question. How many distinct planes are there on the figure? So, kung sa point, kailangan natin meron tayong capital letter. Kung sa line, kailangan natin at least two points on the line. Sa planes naman po, kailangan natin ng at least three points on the plane. So, pag may tatlo pataas na bilang ng points, kaya nating masabi na ito ay isang distinct planes. So, since meron tayong six faces on this box, tingnan natin kung lahat ba ng faces na yun ay may at least three points. So, makoconsider natin na meron tayong six distinct planes. So, check po na natin at the top. 
So, meron tayong five distinct points. So, pasok siya as a plane. First plane natin. So, itong nasa bottom. Ayan. So, meron tayong four points. So, pasok na pasok din siya as distinct plane. So, that's the second distinct plane. Dito sa side, meron tayong five points. Again, that's a distinct plane. Third distinct plane natin. So, dito naman sa kabilang side, meron tayong tatlong points. So, pasok pa rin kasi at least three points. So, that's the fourth plane. Yung nasa likod, ito po. So, meron tayong five points na nandyan. Point C, point D, point E, point F, point I. So, that's the fifth plane. And then, itong nasa harap. So, point A, point H, point G. So, that will be our sixth distinct plane. So, how many distinct planes are there on the figure? So, the answer is, there are six distinct planes in this figure. So, for the next question, what are those planes? So, we can use at least three points to name a plane. So, dun muna tayo sa three points na pwedeng gamitin to name the plane. So, first, we have plane ACE. So, alin yung plane ACE? So, eto po siya yung nasa top natin. Next, plane HIF. Ito naman po yung nasa bottom. There are many possible names for this plane. Next is Ito namang ACI. So, ito naman siya yung nasa left side ng ating box. So, again, there are many possible names for this side since meron tayong five different points na nandyan. Then, next for this side naman, itong nasa right side, since three distinct points lang ang meron tayo, we can name this as plane EFG. Okay? Next is, so itong nasa likod ng box natin, plane CIF. So, pwede rin po yung CEF, CDF. Again, at least three points. So, we can use that to name the plane. Then, the last one is the plane AHG or GHA for the sixth plane. Okay? So, malinaw na po ba on how to name the point, the line, and the plane on a given figure? So, pag sinabi po, na distinct, kailangan po meron siyang pangalan. Sa points po, kailangan meron tayong capital letters. Sa lines, kailangan po meron tayong at least two points on the line. And for the planes, kailangan meron tayong at least three points on the plane. Okay, so for your activity, so you can try this. Observe the figure and answer the following. So there are 10 questions here and makukuha niyo po yung sagot niya from this figure. So you have to observe and analyze this figure para malaman niyo kung ano nga ba ang sagot dito. So try to answer this first and write your answers on the comment box below and let's see kung tama yung mga magiging sagot niya. That's all for this video. Sana po may natutunan kayong dagdag kaalaman when it comes to undefined terms. Huwag kalimutang mag-share, mag-like, at mag-subscribe dito sa ating channel. So, that's all for this video. Bye-bye! Take care, everyone! God bless!